If you're a lawyer, you might like this. Imam al-Shafi was asked, are there any verses in the Quran that show the validity of a marriage between non-Muslims? Hypothetical law, because there was a time when the Sharia was rocking it so hard, they could do hypothetical law. Now we're catching up, like it's all catch up, right? It's kind of, kind of following what's going on. What's Bitcoin? Okay, this, like, right? And that's the state also of the broader Muslim world. We've been, we see now what happened today in Lebanon, man. Like, subhanAllah, like, we have so many challenges. I don't like blaming Muslims for our problems, man. This is, this is hard to deal with. I lived in the Muslim world for years. It's a very, I don't like it when people here blame people overseas. Go live there, man. Right? Go, if you're so big and bad, go over there and do like some egalitarian lecture on you know, democracy and like the equalization of the economy and you know, social stratification. We will never see you again. We'll see how brave you are, buddy. I mean, after I gave this speech last week here, people off stage were like, I don't know if you should have said that, man. I don't know if you should have given that talk at the protest here. I was like, why not? Like, so, you know, it's easy. But Muslims are incredibly resilient, beautiful people. Like, <laughs> the stuff we've been through, it's incredible. Like, look in Bangladesh, man, 170 people with no electricity or no internet. You know, I talked to, last week we did a live, a young man from Bangladesh came on. He was like, they killed 1,500 people so far. I, shot, I saw them shoot a 14-year-old. You're like, man. And we're here arguing about, like, wet samosas and, you know, like, what's for iftar? I mean, it's not fair, man. So we ask Allah Ta'ala bil afiyah. Imam Shafi said the evidence for this is Allah says, the wife of Abu Lahab. So Allah, if you think about it, it's interesting. Imam Shafi uses inference. He said, Allah said that that's the wife of Abu Lahab. So that means their marriage is valid in front of who? In front of God. So that's an evidence. And here you see the brilliance of Shafi. He's in front of the law, he's not behind the law. The law is like in front. Right? So he goes and extrapolates His wife, Allah calls the wife of Abu Lahab, Umm Jamil, his wife, that means their marriage is valid. It's like a cool thing. He also said, He said, the wife of Fir'aun. So just a side note to show you sometimes scholars, it's cool how they take stuff from Quran. You know? But the wife of Abu Lahab also was a problem, man. A big problem. She was very difficult, the aunt of the Messenger of Allah. And many of us know, it's like I said it before, when you're a new Muslim and people are like, yeah, so your parents Muslim.